Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, I wanted to go over some ICOs, um, like I promised in the last video, um, as well as we can get into like a crypto hopper update, because um, I like to keep making videos on those just uh, for updates. Um, and I wanted to start uh, with this video. So this is a website that I've been working on. It's lifezoltar.com, and it kind of ties into the YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to start being more active with it. Um, what it is, it's, it's a blog. Um, it's a lot of crypto, obviously, because it's, you know, um, so huge right now. But, like, it's more focused on, like, self-improvement. So finances, crypto. Um, I might get into some, like, health and wellness because I like, uh, um, like, strength training has always been a big passion of mine. So I might get into some of that stuff, too. But we'll see how it goes. But obviously, you know, crypto is a big uh passion and hobby of mine too and, and it fits into my background of um, computer science and my, my tech uh, background too so I'll, I'll keep sticking with with what I know I guess um, and let me know what you guys want to see too you know as far as YouTube channel is concerned um, as well as um, this website um, which is also a blog too so let me just quickly show you what it is so the uh, lifesoltar.com the the home page is basically a blog. So I have some blog posts on here, like my crypto plan going forward, um, why the the prices were tanking back in January, um, all coin ex exchanges when they weren't accepting users, um, about another market crash, Bitcoin all coin update, my top coins of 2018, why the Bitcoin price was dropping so much um, back in December, um, the folks that, you know, were saying Bitcoin was a bubble, you know, I have some comments on that. And then, you know, about the Facebook group that we have, um, as well. And then, uh, uh, the Facebook uh, page too. And then you can sign up here, put your email in and receive, um, every time there's a blog post, you can receive an email for it. Um, and then I have like links to Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then. Let's see. Then there's a cryptocurrency link. So I have a bunch of, um, like I said, I've been working quite a bit on this. So there's a lot more content. So what is, you know, just like a generic, what is Bitcoin and crypto? So, um, you know, I kind of wrote this up, uh, you know, so if you're new and then I, again, like I tie it into the YouTube channel. So I tie it into a video I did. Um, I, I don't want to, you know, waste time by clicking all these, but feel free to check it out. So like a how to guide. All coins, um, coin uh, exchanges compared, you know, Bitcoin ATM walkthrough, and then obviously the Crypto Hopper, which has been huge lately. I did a write up on that, um, and then a, a page of quick links too. So, and then I think, uh, and then I have investing too. So this is a non cryptocurrency. So this is more um, like I have, went to school for uh, uh, finance too, right? So I have that experience as well. So, um, and again, I, I researched the heck out of this stuff too. So, um, I'm not just throwing up every, anything. Um, and I, I'm also a, uh, uh, investing is a huge passion of mine too. So I was able to actually buy my first home at what, 26, I believe here in California, which is pretty crazy considering it was, you know, a $500,000 house. And, be, and I was able to do that, um, through investing. So, uh, I was able to teach myself quite a bit and then I used that uh, my education with you know finance and business and computer science and everything to to tie that in um, so I do have that knowledge as well so I kind of wrote this up um, in a like a little page here of you know what you should be doing with your finances again this isn't crypto related this is generic but I did say you know 10 10 percent of your portfolio could be you know in a very high risk which it should be I mean again no more than 10% of your investment should ever be in cryptocurrency. It's just too risk. It's too risky. You know, it's a high risk speculation, right? Um, and I said, you know, 10%, my favorite right now is Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Um, and then I, you know, give a breakdown and then I tie it into um, some videos I did on, you know, a real estate crowdfunding, um, Fundrise Realty Mogul, Vanguard, which has been around for years. Um, they're a very uh, trusted platform, index funds, ETFs. Um, as well as the robo investing, autom uh, automated investing, wealth front and betterment. These these guys are awesome. I literally was, you know, I still am actually getting up, upwards of thirty percent returns um, with with these guys, and they're low cost index index funds investing. It's basically stock investings, right? But they're super low fees, um, and it's all, all 
done like computer algorithms um, and it's really, really good. I mean, next to cri cryptocurrency, well, I, actually, I can't even say that now because crypto has been going down so much. Um, but this uh, Wealthfront and Betterment have, have been giving me more returns than crypto lately. Um, obviously not, you know, back in last year and, you know, back in December, it was crazy. But, you know, January and February, uh, actually Wealthfront and Betterment has have been getting giving me better returns. So, and then I, you know, have links, some links down here too. And then I have like a little about me page, um, you know, kind of what the channel is, um, finance the cryptocurrency. Then I might get into, you know, some health and, you know, kind of like uh, my background too, uh, my education. And, you know, I've been working in the tech industry and I'm a kind of a crypto junk, junkie and, and I, you know, like uh, strength training and health and fitness and that kind of stuff too, which I might get into later. Um, obviously, crypto and uh, investing and all that stuff is such an awesome topic and I love talking about it. So I'll keep doing that. So, all right. So let's get into ICO. Sorry, I just wasted um, six minutes of your time there. All right. Again, oh, that's uh, lifezoltar.com. So it's www.lifezoltar.com. Uh, I'll put the link down in the video description um, if you guys wanted to check that out. And feel free to sign up for those blog updates. And again, I'm, I'm going to start being a lot more active here on this website and, uh, you know, just keep, keep putting as much information as I can on here. All right. So ICO is like I promised you guys in the last video. So this is an active spreadsheet. And again, feel free to watch that uh, last video I did. And I kind of went into how I'm working with a, or what working for, uh, a wealth management company. I'm working part time as an ICO analyst, so I give them ICO recommendations where they, where this wealth management company invests in these ICOs for some of their clients. So, and this is kind of my list um, that I uh, essentially give to them. Right. So, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of time and research has went into this. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I just kind of want to share that with you guys. Um, so uh, let's just do maybe a half of these in this video because I don't, how, how many do I have? I have, uh, almost 20. So I don't want to spend the entire video because I, I want to get into crypto hopper too. So let's, let's cover 10 in this video and then maybe do 10 in the next video. So, um, a lot of these are no. So I just want you to know a lot of these are do not invest and that's what this column D here is for. So let's just start. I'll spend more time on the yes and then we'll just kind of quickly go over the no. So uh, Virtue Poker, this was a yes. So I'm just going to read you the uh, the market marketing description or kind of what they said their platform is. So it's a 100% decentralized poker platform. Um, you don't have to deposit on a site to, uh, to play. Um, instead, you play with your own wallet in a wallet versus wallet environment. Smart contracts automatically distribute payouts based on game outcome. Peer-to-peer -peer card shuffling. Bets held in secure escrow. Cryptographically signed hand results. Payouts directly back into your digital wallet using the Ethereum blockchain and smart contracts to build a decentralized poker platform. Uh, Virtue Poker has trust and transparency built in. So basically, uh, here in the United States, you know, online poker and gambling uh, was was banned, right? So what they're trying to do here, at least I, I believe so, is they're, they're working on a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer poker platform, which would bypass this whole online gambling and gaming uh, restriction here in the United States. So this is huge. I mean, if they pull this off, this would absolutely be huge. So here's my little quick analysis, my little write up here. So like I said, if they pull this off, it's huge. They'll tap in a $2.5 billion online poker industry. Um, their team and their uh, advisory board uh, is, is very solid. Um, they have a nearly finished poker client platform, which is uh, you know, a lot to be said for uh, for an ICO. A lot of these ICOs are just in beta platforms, if they even have anything at all. A lot of them are just hopes and dreams. Uh, maybe a white paper. That's about it. But these guys literally have a nearly finished poker client platform, which says a lot. Um, they have a, they're in beta uh, beta testing right now uh, with a full software platform. Uh, platform launched for the for this fall. Um, again, we're in uh, February of 2018. They have Phil Ivey, uh, which is the best poker player ever, uh, or so they say, helping them. They're, he's on their team. Idea market and customer base is very large. 
uh, white paper is professional um, and details high level high level architecture to include gameplay. I would personally invest in this, so I, I really like this. So this is um, I rate them uh, eight out of ten, maybe even a nine out of ten. Um, their ICO date um, uh, last I uh, I did this review maybe a month or two ago is mid February. This may have got pushed back. Um, because it's mid-February now, actually it's towards the end of February, so we may want to check again on that, but it may be already be happening now. Um, this next one, the C, uh, Nexio Bank, um, this is a no for me. Um, this is not really an NCO, it's rather a, a company launch. I don't want to get too much into these NCOs. Um, but I'm just going to briefly uh, go through here. Um, there's an extreme lack of information regarding this. Uh, they basically just you know say that they're you know backed by this other company. They don't provide provide any details um, or how they'll manage this new crypto back lending platform. Their te their team is very lacking. They uh, basically just had managing partners and marketing folks. Um, and then and again uh, you know you can check them out too. But I, again I, I wouldn't personally recommend that. Um, this DecoNet, uh, this seems like it's a, again. This was a great idea, um, but they're literally uh, hopes and dreams at this point, at least as far as what I could see. And I kind of put a comment. Their white paper was kind of kind of a joke. They didn't, didn't they didn't have much in it, and it was extremely vague, only covering high level ideas. One page on the platform itself. I mean, their whole thing is you know their whole idea is the platform. I would think they would have much more than a page. Um, until they can get their white paper, you know, baked further and start being more serious, I would not invest. Um, again, I did these top ones here like a month or two ago, so things have may have, may have changed since then. Um, so just take note of that. Um, so they may have come a long way. Um, again, this was these reviews are probably about a month old now. All right, fans unite. Um, this this is uh, this was a yes for me. So this is similar to Virtue Poker um, in a huge, uh, they're going to tap into a huge market. Now this one is for uh, sports betting. So their concept is solid. They have a decent management and advisory board. Their tech team is uh, lacking a bit though. Um, they have a solid roadmap in place, which is, you know, uh, and good to have. Um, and a lot of these ICOs don't. Um, they have a full platform demo scheduled for March 2018. Um, on their MLB betting uh, white paper is more high level, but it does cover some basic architecture and system plans. Um, it just it does justify a deeper dive while watching the development take uh, progress. So these uh, fans unite will revolutionize sports betting, um, betting on the harness and power of the Ethereum blockchain to provide cheaper, more secure, verifiable, uh, transparent betting. Again, uh, sports betting. Uh, but they are, you know, pretty far in, in what they're doing. Um, they actually have a fully baked demo scheduled for next month, um, and I rated them seven out of ten. So I liked, I like what they're doing here. Um, and again, these reviews are a, a good month, month and a half old. So things may have changed. <clears throat> Just FYI, uh, we've um, I, I gave these guys a no. So. Um, they were uh, their goal is to empower uh, the um, IoT, the economy of, of things. Um, uh, we're basically, you know, the the I Internet of Things. Um, we're basically processing trade, harvests data against digital assets, most notably the crypto coins. They envision a public or, or private marketplace where producers and consumers come together, escrow the supply and demand, and exchange the digital assets. So. Uh, my review here is basically their token sale site has been down um, and there's very limited information out there regarding it. Their idea in white paper is great. Actually, their white paper is the best I've seen. Um, so it was very detailed uh, back when I read it. The rest of their marketing is very lacking as well as their timeline. Um, until their site comes back online and even more, I would not recommend uh, we invest at this point. So again, back when I reviewed this, um, uh, you know, some things, you know, their site was down. Um, so I was having some issues you know doing the research so things that may have changed um, with them so <clears throat> next up is this omega one this was a, a no invest for me uh, these guys were basically um, trying to do a digitally native uh, global financial system um, in the blockchain um, and basically uh, you know I said their marketing was is very lacking um, their idea was uh, okay but you know 
until they can get a solid timeline and, and have better communication, they're just they just don't have their act together yet. Um, but again, you know, this month two month old review here. This uh, Bloxable, um, this was a no invest for me. Decentralized structured finance platform. Um, their team was literally only four people back when I reviewed this. Uh, they have a general idea what they want to do, um, but you know the comp they had no direction. Um, the team was very small, uh, and they're literally trying to do a token sale before they even knew um, what the heck they were doing, and they had before they you know had a team to to do anything. So that was a no for me. This uh, Sealy, um, this was a no. Um, they were uh, this natural consensus protocol. Um, so this was, I'm trying to remember what this one was. Oh, okay. I remember this. This was where they, uh, this, these scammers, uh, posed as the, the admins and they stole, uh, $2 million, uh, from, from the ICO. So until they recover from, from that, uh, scam, um, you know, they, they're going to have trouble, you know, you know, feeding their ICO for this. Um, so they're basically claiming to be investing in the blockchain 4.0. Uh, you know, they do have a solid tech team, um, leadership is a bit lacking though. White paper is, is tech heavy, which is good to see, but, um, they were lacking marketing skills, um, to try to sell, um, uh, you know, to normal investors. Um, you know, with, with the hack and the lack of the marketing, I would, I would skip, uh, that investing in these guys for now. So I'm going to stop with this one. Um, and then we can kind of get into the other one in the next video. This um, Autonomy. Um, Autonomy provides a security protocol and infrastructure to enable billions of IoT, Internet of Things devices to have trusted uh, inter interoperability for uh, both data and commerce. Um, sorry, I completely butchered that. Um, this was a no for me. Um, there's just so much competition out there for the IoT market. Um, and ICOs, actually Hyundai is offering a, a similar service with devices to back it up, unlike, unlike these guys where they still need to partner with hardware manufacturers. Um, they have a general idea going into a flooded market up against heavy hitters and not differentiating themselves enough. So this was a no invest for me. All right. So that was 10 of the ICOs. We'll cover the other ones in the next video. Um, I wanted to get into Crypto Hopper. Um, let's take a look at the market. So. Here's kind of where we are now. Um, it's February 25th, so you can see we're down quite a bit. It spiked up in, what, five days ago? Um, and then, so it's, you know, kind of dropped here back in February 6th, and then it spiked back uh, on the 20th, and then it dropped again. And from what, uh, what I could see is, why this is happening is a lot of people are selling off. So again, it it hit almost twelve thousand. So uh, from what I'm hearing, you know, again, I mean, it's cryptocurrency is you're going to hear so many stories, um, and then the fud that the media puts out, and you know, your you know all your friends say one thing, and then you know the media tells you another, and you just you really just don't know what to hear. So what I like to do is I set up an RSS feed um, in, uh, with my Gmail, so I get I get I get a huge data dump every day of all these news sources from multiple locations, and it just literally dumps into my email. So I I skim it every single day, and I basically just like dump this data into my head, and I I kind of make my own. Um, assumptions on what's happening with the market, right? Because you can't just get it from one source. You literally have to look at every single news and article out there, skim it all, and just kind of make your own conclusions from it. And that's kind of what I do. So anyways, from what I'm hearing is they're saying, you know, it topped out at 12. And so they're saying, oh, you know, we need to take a profit because it, you know, it hit so high. And that's the highest it's been in a while. So, um, and then, you know, that's why it dropped down a little bit. But but again, I mean, it's it's so hard to tell, right? Cryptocurrency is so new. It's literally like the Internet was back in the 90s. People are kind of getting getting into it, still not knowing anything um, and, you know, kind of betting. And a lot of people are, are betting. They're putting actually too much money into it. And that's another thing, too, I, I kind of want to tell everyone that's, you know, watching my videos here is please don't put too much money into crypto. Um, and I, you know, back, I, I showed you here on my website. I mean, your if your overall portfolio is $10,000, you're, 
you should really only be putting a thousand dollars into crypto. Um, it should literally only be 10% of your po uh, total portfolio. I mean, you literally need, you need to diversify. You need to have emergency fund. You need to have, you know, what we call a freedom fund. So basically, you know, if you want to quit your job or you lose your job, you need a long-term savings plan for retirement. You need, you need to start saving, you know, for, you know, if you want to buy a house or you want to start a business or, you know, kind of stop working for the man, you know, stop going to work every day. Um, and then what's, when all this is done, that's when you get into this high risk and that's when you put in this 10 percent and now do you know do i have more than 10 percent maybe just because um being a little hypocritical here uh just because i'm uh i'm so passionate about it but i don't have that much I, but but here's the thing i'm doing all of this already so a lot of folks aren't doing all this and they're dumping everything into this and you know they're losing so much money um, so please don't do that guys. I don't want to see people lose money. I don't want to see people, you know, not being able to pay medical bills or lose their homes or anything like that. Please don't. We don't know what cryptocurrency is going to do. It could literally, uh, what the founder of, um, uh, Ethereum say last week or so, he said it could literally go to zero. I mean, he literally said that, um, some crypto coins could literally go to zero. All cryptocurrency could literally, literally go to zero. No one knows. I mean, the governments could step in, shut all the exchanges down. We would lose everything, right? I mean, there would no, there would be no way to sell it. Um, so please, I mean, it's don't, don't put all your eggs in one basket, please. So check out, you know, it's lifesoltar.com and I kind of lay out a financial plan and, um, this has worked great for me. Um, I'm able to, you know, buy several homes. Um, you know, I was able to buy a home at, you know, half a million dollar home at 26 years old and just from investing and, you know, watching my money. And, you know, again, my mom was a school teacher and my dad was a mechanic. So I, I came from nothing. You know, the town I lived in was, you know, what, 20,000 people. Um, you know, we, you know, my, their big, my dad was basically making, you know, minimum wage and my mom was making a school teacher salary. So we didn't have anything growing up. And, um, I just kind of, you know, I said, I didn't want to live like that anymore. And basically, you know, put myself through school and, you know, started saving and learning everything I could about finances. And, you know, I just want to share that with you guys. So, all right. So enough of me talking, let's get into crypto hopper. All right, so the market's been okay. So here's my trade history. So if I go to, uh, geez, this thing always, I don't know why it does that. I think my screen share does that. So I'm up 7%, so not too bad considering, you know, this down, uh, this bear uh, market kind of in the past two days or so. I'm up 7.04%, not too shabby. Um, oh, this thing always crashes out on me. Hold on. I think I need to, let me check my internet. Hold on a second. All right. Sorry guys. Um, just had to make sure I didn't lose my internet connection there and my screen recording software messes things up too. So here's my trade history. Um, I got some good trades, 1.5, uh, 2 point, almost 3%. This is a smaller one, 1.95. I'm not sure what happened now happened there um almost one percent 1.3 1.28 almost two percent almost 1.6 um one uh 0.85 almost one percent 1.53 so not too bad um i'll just share you uh again oh let's go get into signals too so actually go to my config so again i'm on poloniex um oh and someone mentioned in the comments uh I was saying it wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Pol Oni, Pol Oni X, I believe. Um, so sorry, I was pronouncing that incorrectly. Um, all right. So uh, 50 coins. Like I said, I'm on the hair package. So again, I select the coins based on the signals. Um, so so what I'm doing now going forward, if the market's tanking, I'm coming here and I'm going to no strategy um signals only and i'm running on mining hamster signals and then when the market 
is, is doing okay, I go back to multiple TA factors. So that's my strategy. That's kind of what I'm doing. So let's just, I'm just going to show you the multiple TA factors on the targets to buy. And I did start playing with advanced too. So I'll show you guys that too. Um, number tar targets to buy is 10, um, profit is 1.4. So in order to break even on Pol Poloniex, um, you need at least a 0.4 because after a buy and a sell, uh, trade fee, um, that comes out to about 0.4%. So for me to get at least a 1% profit, I would need a 1.4 percent high highest bid lowest ask um trailing stop loss at 1.4 um someone someone mentioned i should bump that up to kind of match that that does make sense so i did that appreciate um uh, you guys kind of helping me out too because we're all learning together um no um i'm by no means an expert um on this bot or you know with these settings so um, if you guys help me and, you know, I'll help you um, and everyone else too. So we're in this together. We want to make money together. So, you know, let's work as a team to try to do this. Um, trolling stop loss three. Um, this guy's turned on. Hold assets is turned on. These two are off. Max time to sell 30, 30, 100 here, one here, 10 here, and then minimum, minimum to buy. These guys are off. So I'll show you my advanced TA settings. So I have been playing a little bit with this. So I bumped this down. This was 30. Default um, was 30 candle size. Um, this was the same. So I turned these guys off. Default, these are enabled. So I, I bumped all these. I turned uh, all these off here. Um, all five of these. Um, that's the same. That's the same. That's the same. That's the same. This was disabled by default. I turned that on. Uh, that's the same. This was disabled. I turned that on by default. Uh, I bumped this up to 35. It's 20 by default. And this was disabled. Um, I turned that on. So that's what I'm doing. Um, maybe in the next video, because this video is already running really, really long, um, we can kind of go through in more details of what all these are. Um, and I'm still kind of learning, you know, too, because they did they did do a software update and kind of add some more things too. So, um, but for this video, I just want to show you kind of what settings I have. Um, and then for signals, I unsubscribed from a lot. I'm only running Mining Hamster. The rest of them are crap, literally. Um, well, actually, a lot of them weren't even giving any signals at all. But the Crypto Grow, the free one, was giving bad signals. So I literally unsubscribed from everyone except for this guy. Now, it is a paid one, so I'm paying $6 for this. But it's worth it. It's completely worth it because these guys are awesome. Um, I mean, look at they triggered how many signals today? Wow. What is this like? Two, four, six, eight, ten. What, like 20 signals? Or this was yesterday. 25 signals, something like that. Um, yesterday. And look at these, you know, look at the gains. I mean, obviously, you're not going to get in. By the time you get in, it'll be a lot less. But, you know, that's, that's pretty good, right? So. All right, so that's about it for Crypto Hopper. Oh, and, and Triggers is brand new. I'm going to start playing with this too. This is brand new on the, the software update that, that they just did like a week ago, or actually I think it was just a couple days ago. So um, I'm, going to, I'm going to start playing with this too and give you guys updates on it. Um, and then Config Pools, I haven't been able to uh, touch this yet, but again, I, I want to update you guys on that once I, once I do. Um, so any questions, let me know. Uh, feel free to reach out. Leave me some comments. Um, check out the website um, and, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications just so you guys, you know, get notified when the next video hits. And let me know what you want to see, too. I'm, you know, I'm doing this for you guys. Um, and like I said, I want to kind of build a community so we can all help each other, you know, with, with cryptocurrency and investing. Um, and obviously with this bot because it's you know, it's, it's not easy, right? Or any, well, this is the easiest bot out there, you know, by far to use, you know, compared to those other ones out there. But still, I mean, it's, you know, it, it definitely takes some, some work to set this, set this thing up. Right. And I want to work with everyone, um, together and build a community and, you know, help each other out, you know, so we can all benefit. So, um, let me know if I'm doing something wrong, let me know what I should be doing. And then I'll make a video and let everyone else know, um, the next time so we can all benefit. So, all right, guys, until the next one, take care.